Okay guys, this is Rainbow 145. The one of the semi trailers is done. It looks the same as it did before, but it's uh actually sets up higher. Has off-road looking tires on it. And it has a tailgate. Yes, from a tailgate from a pickup. I put that on there because I wanted it to be colored. And it was pretty easy to work with. Well, it was easy to put on, work with, but I had problems with the uh, column thing or CLL uh, glitching really bad you couldn't get tractors up on it and stuff like that uh, this is what it does when you drop it you can still put it behind other semis and it pulls it just fine and then you can open a tailgate drive your tractors out you just jump on your tractor here you might have a wheel fall through once in a while somewhere now you will have that little hump there, uh, but if I mess with it much more, you'll have even worse problems than that little hump. Trust me. Worked on this thing for hours trying to get that to work. I couldn't load stuff up. I was starting to get upset. I was like, man, this is stupid. I don't know what... I get one piece fixed, then all of a sudden there'd be a invisible spot. Yeah, you can't run up it for some reason. Ever since I fixed it. Well, I guess you can. Then we can drive the skitter off. Uh, you can drive it off. See, this is what I'm talking about. You have that. Because I have uh, COL, whatever, stuck all over the place on this trailer. And this skitter is the one, only thing that really fall, falls through this trailer. I don't understand why. And you can't pull it up on there. You have to back it up on there. And then you're going to still have problems getting it up on there. Well, maybe, maybe not. There you go. Maybe if you just stay away from that one side, you would be okay. So you have your skitter and stuff on there. Okay, so now we'll load some other stuff up on it. Now, we can load these excavators on here. You'll have to do it in steps. you have to stick it on there, get in your truck, uh, lift your gate up, and then jump back in your excavator. And take and drive it up on there. Or you should be able to. So thing doesn't turn very well. Okay, so once you have it up on there, you just get it straight. Otherwise you have a tippy trailer. Okay, so now since you have your excavators loaded on here, you load it the same way. You put on that back gate and lift them up on there. Tractors, you can just drive right up on there. Then you just fold your gate on up. Cram them together. Or leave them however you want. And then we're ready to go. It's pretty heavy load, let me tell you. You can't go up hills because with this big a load, it won't pull the truck won't pull it. Uh, if you go down hills or go too fast, it will shove you. Just like real life, you don't have much brake when you have heavy loads. So... Yeah. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not the best design in the world, but it will help you with your logging. If you're wanting to haul certain things, my brakes are smashed all the way down. This is how it is so anyway you have your log trailer plus your trailer to haul your equipment up to wherever you're logging at if you can pull it if it'll pull it like I said you can put other semi trailers on here only thing you might have problems with is uh, stumps hitting those uh, legs if you have too high so anyway this is Ramble 145 I hope you guys like my videos please hit that like button subscribe and share thanks bye